Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A fixed asset account tracks assets that your business owns that are not likely to be converted into cash within a year. A fixed asset is usually something of significant value that is necessary for the operation of your business, like vehicles, computers, furniture, and some office equipment. Many times, the purchase of a fixed asset will also incur a long-term liability, such as the example of acquiring an auto loan to purchase a new vehicle. Fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they do have a value. Since they are useful for a long time, you don't completely charge their entire cost to the year in which you purchase them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years, called the useful life of the asset. However, because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete, like computers, their value declines constantly from the day that you purchase them. When the value of a fixed asset declines over a period, the amount of value that is lost is called depreciation. The total amount of this decline over a period of time is called accumulated depreciation. We will now examine one method for creating fixed asset accounts, noting their original value, and also recording their accumulated depreciation. There are many ways to track fixed asset value and depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. This method works well to show the original cost, the accumulated depreciation, and the current book value for a single fixed asset on separate lines within the balance sheet for clarity of reporting. However, if you are currently tracking your asset depreciation in other ways, in, for example with more generalized accounts, you can rest assured you can continue using your own method. When you refer to the value of a fixed asset at any point in time, you're referring to its book value. This is determined by subtracting its accumulated depreciation, which is the total amount of depreciation that has occurred since the asset's original purchase date, from its original cost. Usually you'll want your company's balance sheet to show the original cost of an asset on one line, with the accumulated depreciation subtracted from the original cost on a second line, and the current or book value on a third line. The method that you'll learn in this lesson allows you to see each asset's cost and its accumulated depreciation separately on your balance sheet. In order to do this, you need to create a primary fixed asset account for each asset, and then create two sub-accounts under each primary fixed asset account, one for the original cost and one for the accumulated depreciation. So first, create a new primary fixed asset account for the fixed asset. Leave the opening balance field blank if you are purchasing the asset after your company file's start date, as that value will be determined by the two sub-accounts, meaning original cost and accumulated depreciation, that you will need to create to track its book value. After that, create the two fixed asset sub-accounts, one for the asset's original cost and one for the asset's accumulated depreciation. These two sub-accounts should also be of the fixed asset account type. When creating these accounts, ensure that you click the checkbox for sub-account of within the new account window, and then select the correct primary fixed asset account for which these sub-accounts will track the original cost as well as depreciation. When creating the original cost sub-account for assets purchased before your company file start date, Enter the opening balance field as the original cost of the asset. For assets purchased after the start date, leave the opening balance field blank as the value of the asset will come from the value of the transactions that you have yet to enter, such as the loan to repay or checks to write in order to purchase the fixed asset. Likewise, when creating the accumulated depreciation sub-account, the amount that you enter as the opening balance also depends on whether you acquired the asset after or before your company file's start date. If you acquired the asset after the start date, then you will leave the opening balance field blank. 
If you acquired the asset before your company file start date, then when you create the account, you should enter the accumulated depreciation of the asset as of your company file's start date as a negative number. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.